I know zero about rugby. Mm -hmm. And then, so my friend Claire Jones, who is a brilliant rugby photographer, one of the top rugby photographers everywhere, and as great as I thought she was, and I knew that she was fantastic, I've seen her images for years and stuff, when you actually go to the game, and I'm, I'm this far, right? This far from, from Claire, and we're looking at the same thing, well, and she's showing know. me the shots that she gets. She's she's like a legend behind the lens. So what she does, this is really cool. Now she shoots Nikon, mm -hmm. right, or what they would call Nikon. So well, that's she, probably why there. She, it's so all all the Nikon that does right. it. So she's she's <laughs> she's she's shooting for the team. She's been the team photographer forever, right? So she's yeah. shooting. She takes a shot. She sees a good one. She marks it. Yep. It immediately goes to her phone. She uh -huh. she edits it real quick and sends it to the booth, and it goes on social media while we're just sitting there. Right. It's, she's got a slick system. Now, you're not. That's not like record breaking. It's like no one's ever done that yeah, before. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are doing nowadays. But she's yeah. really got it down. I mean, the whole thing happens so quickly. She does mm -hmm. minimal edits because it's for you know for for uh, right. journalism. And she gets it out, and she's showing me the picture, like, on Instagram while we're sitting there, you know. And I'm looking at the back of my camera. So so here it is. She she says, you're coming over. You know, it would help if you watched or now. She is the official photographer of the Northampton Saints. So she says, it would be great for you to watch a Saints game before. So, But I did something better. The thing that saved me was I went and I watched a video on YouTube called Rugby – for American football fans. And it explained how how it's quite close to American football. It, it, it is like if you took hockey and American football and put it into one sport. Mm -hmm. It has everything Americans love, which I can't understand why it's not huge over here. Well, I do, I do know one thing. It's super fast-paced. Mm -hmm. It moves way faster than football, baseball. It moves... Faster than I mean, that's probably why we say hockey because hockey is very fast. It's paced. very, it's just like that, very fast paced. Um, number two is it's high scoring, right? And and it, it is all of the tackling and stuff that you love about football with no pads, no helmets, there's no protection whatsoever. They're wearing a polo shirt, they're wearing shorts, socks, and cleats, and they they hit at a level. Like these are tough son of a guns. They're not big four hundred pounders. They're yeah. not like, but but they're 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 all incredible cardio, fast, fit, pretty tall. Mm -hmm. it, it, to see it, you're wondering how people are dead all over the field. I right. mean, Eric, the way they go at it, like they they tackle and hit like NFL players. You see guys get rocked and just get right back up, and like they have no protection. This should be something Americans should love. It would be like if you said, we're going to do a NASCAR race, but no one's allowed to have brakes. It's like, it's just crazy. All right. So I, I just don't get it, but here's why I get it. If I hadn't watched that video called Rugby for American Football Players, I would be completely lost. So if you're sitting at home in America and you go, oh, rugby match, I heard that's interesting. You look at it, you'd watch for five minutes and go, I don't get it. And you turn, I mean, you have right. to know the rules and what's going on. It is not self-explanatory. There's a lot of, but, but you know, luckily, um, you know, Claire knows the game so well. So, and were but, you shooting with a Nikon there? All right, I was shooting with a Canon and a Nikon. So right. she brought, I didn't want to take a 400 lens right, over right. there and all, you know. So she let me borrow her D6 uh, with a 400 millimeter lens. Eric, this is what was crazy about it. And, and I used to shoot Nikon, and I'm very comfortable with Nikons. They're great cameras. And let me tell you, that D6 for sports is an absolute beast. Mm -hmm. Absolute. I mean, it was like this. And yeah. the Nikon shutter has that mechanical feel. Yeah. It, I loved it. Anyway, anyway, phenomenal. And the tracking and stuff was just crazy. She had it all set up for me. But here's the bad thing. The Nikon shutter and the back button focus are in just a slightly different place than they are in the Canon. Oh, so I would put my finger off. there, and I would hit, and I wouldn't be shooting. It would be just pressing the lip of the shutter. Mm. Like the yeah, little lip. You weren't hitting it right. Yeah. I would, and then I would not focus. Oh, the first half was so bad for me. Like, I was like, I'm just going to throw my gear. And, and I thought, well, you know, I've shot football and other sports, all these different sports and all. 
I've said this. If you watch any class I've ever done on sports photography, I go, if you really want to be good at this, you have to know the game. You have to not – you, you oh, can't yeah. track it's, the ball. That's the most important thing. You have yeah. to know where the ball's going next. Claire knows where the ball is. She always knows where the goal – and she is one step ahead. And she's got every of those classic shots when the ball's just getting there or there's a peak moment of action and all. I never have any idea where the ball is yeah, going so next. Yeah, kind of like wandering. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Because, yeah, that's the way – that's why we can shoot NFL the way we do. We, we can predict the play. We, yeah, we, we know, know, I know where this, I know oh, even who it's going, going to. Or, oh, that's so, going to be a run. Or, I, I, let me just real quickly – I'd like to share – some of the best photos of, of the day. Oh, that looks like a good one. Here we go. Look at that one. Now you can, there we go. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful. How about this one? Oh, nice. I got, uh, I think I nailed that one. The double amputee shot of nothing. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is, I love when the after the play shot. Yep. Yeah, there's, there's a good one. Uh, I don't think. Focusing on the players is as important as focusing on the stands. <laughs> There's a good one. Peak moment of action. Peak though. moment of action. He's running. Yeah. He's sprinting. He's yeah. he's going to score. Look, and this is I missed the guy. So here's what happens. I'm right at, at the end of the pitch with uh, with Claire. Claire's to my yeah. my left. He's breaking for it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get a score. I'm following. I'm following. Following, and just like in basketball where they pass the ball so fast. He passes the ball right before him. I don't know it. I follow him all the way to the end zone. The guy is right in front of me. The guy that scores slides here. But I'm over there going, yeah, I'm nailing it. I got this guy. I'm nailing it. Now, this, this is, these were with my cannon, right? So this is the guy that just scored. I missed it. I'm like, what? What? Oh, oh. And, of course, by the time, it's, it's way so too late. This is definitely here's, a- here's the celebration photo, which is basically another guy's back on not on their team. And then, yeah, I missed it again. And uh, and then here's at the end where I missed it again. Yeah, that's yeah, so that it's basically was, knowing your subjects. Yeah. If you don't know your – and this I've said this in sports so many times. Now, it slapped me in the face. When uh, it goes for every genre, I would say. Yeah. Sports every is, is sports hard. is – Well, action is hard. Whenever you're shooting action and cannot um, anticipate when a jet's going to turn, you can't right. anticipate when – the dancer is going to go up into flight, you know, like all when true. You can't anticipate that you have such a problem with action. Now I, I actually did get a couple of shots in focus, but they're not good. They're just, they're shots, but they're, I mean, they're not, they're nothing. They're just, you know, well, you know, I think you're probably, this is like probably maybe your first. So this is the guy I think is going to score yeah, and it, the ball's gone. I think he's going to score. And then a split look, I got the yeah. shot where, but oh, there. but and you were still tracking. I did yeah. not see. It went so fast. I thought, yeah, I got this guy. I'm going to get a score, and I was right coming to me. And, and he's gone. And look, he's pointing. Look, he yeah. scored. <laughs> like I did it. Uh there you go. All right. So and and then this oh, one's dumb. Cool. Yeah, I I, I this is I, they're just a lot of bad shots. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this guy almost scored, but it's for other teams, so that's bad. And I love the way they jump up, and I never got any of those in a good position. Now, I will say this. Now that I've shot one, I think I would do a lot, lot better yeah, going back. That's how it usually like, is, right? Because first off, off you're kind of overwhelmed when you first start. It's a new sport. You don't know where to look or what to do and all. Um, and so there's that. Number two, I got a tremendous, like as good as I thought Claire was, on a, as, on a, as a shooter, she's on a totally different level. As a person, she's an actual bona fide British celebrity. So I might have to put her up there with Dave Clayton and start calling her British superstar rugby <laughs> photographer, Lady St. Clair, which is what I call her, Lady St. Clair. Um, but not only, not only a great photographer, but ask anyone that knows her, because a lot of my friends also know her, uh, she is just a, as genuine and kind, and I get why everybody loves her. She's just okay. a genuinely great person. And obviously dedicated to her passion. And, dedicated yeah. to her passion and to her team. She just yeah. loves rugby. And you know what? Number three is I love rugby. Now that I've seen it, I, I think it is a phenomenal sport, and I, I wish there was it's something. very interesting. I've watched it a few times. It's Dude, very I'm interesting. I'm telling you, it is Which I agree non-stop. with you that I would think that it would have caught on in America, but I 
Don't know. There's not a play clock. They that's, just let it run. I know. Somebody has to be injured or there has to be a penalty yeah. for, for the action to stop. It is absolutely just nonstop. 